Pogi. I am a, a professional photographer and uh, recently I uh, did have a, a, a personal crisis with photography. Continuing to photograph, continuing to produce my work, but uh, this crisis uh, was uh, like uh, a sort of uh, a, a lack of uh, enthusiasm in uh, the things uh, I was making. I made uh, a, a self-analysis of uh, myself as a photographer, what uh, I wanted to achieve, what I achieved, uh, what I did already, what I showed, what I proved as a photographer. And uh, in, in this speech I have always uh, to consider also mm, that the things, uh, my choices uh, can affect also uh, my clients. Uh, so uh, any decision is very important. Uh, so I have to be careful, but uh, at a certain point I said I have to do just what I want to do in order to be uh, more honest, more genuine and especially more happy with uh, uh, the things that uh, I am going to do because uh, it is my life, it is my job, it is uh, uh, um, any time that uh, I was uh, not comfortable with the job, I left, I renounced. Uh, so I have to be uh, comfortable, I need to, to, to have fun with the things that I am making. And uh, through this uh, self-analysis I have seen, uh, oh, the response is just one, it is black and white. It is black and white, it is black and my black and white uh, photography. My most known uh, photograph uh, is in black and white. My most important work as a street photographer, uh, but also as a portrait photographer, is in black and white. So, uh, this decision was already made. The response is uh, black and white. To be enthusiast, to, to stay enthusiast, to stay with a different enthusiasm. And in fact, uh, right now, I am exploding of energy because uh, I want to do a lot of things. I have already uh, made two, two shootings in black and white with models. Um, I, I am enjoying more the process. Uh, I redefined also the workflow. Uh, so uh, that is my choice. And in this video, I am going to explain uh, my reasons why I am now totally a black and white photographer. Watch this video until the end because uh, uh, it is important. Uh, you can see this because uh, it can be inspiring for you. I am not going to, to say that you need to do the same. I am just saying that that is my choice. It's working to me. I am seeing already uh, your response also in this uh, uh, channel, the street photography channel, so I am very enthusiastic with uh, mm, your comments, uh, your appreciation, so I, I, I thank you and uh, uh, let's see the reasons why I am now just a black and white photographer.
and so on the street making my work JPEG straight to the point JPEG in black and white recognizing the moment and just dead This is more uh, one of the reasons of my choice about black and white is uh, essentially uh, to uh, stay simple, to remain simple, and uh, less is more uh, is a great advantage uh, because uh, uh, if I think just in black and white, of course uh, I don't have uh, uh, other uh, other problems that uh, uh, arrive uh, through through the color. So I keep it simple, uh, thinking all the time in black and white. For me, uh, uh, right now, photography is just in black and white, and uh, this fact that I am uh, uh, always with the same mindset. Uh, uh, it uh, is a great uh, help in order uh, to um, achieve uh, uh, important results uh, with photography. So I think that uh, many times we, we listen about uh, less is more, but uh, uh, many times it's not uh, really applied uh, by photographers. I think that uh, in my case, uh, uh, it worked uh, with many things, uh, for example, uh, not using uh, a lot of lenses of focal length uh, and uh, uh, keep it simple in that way. No? Uh, when I go out uh, to, to make photos, I go out uh, just uh, with uh, a camera with uh, one lens. So I think that uh, by uh, keeping it simple, uh, less is more is a great concept in order uh, to achieve results um, in, in an effective way uh, without uh, uh, being distracted uh, by many uh, options. Uh, more options also with a camera. Um, right now the cameras are more and more uh, full of uh, options in the menus, uh, um, I have seen uh, recently uh, the last Canon camera with a lot of uh, with a lot of uh, focus modes. But uh, are we sure that uh, we need all these features? For example, with uh, a lot of uh, uh, options in in the autofocus mode. Uh, I don't believe that. I don't believe, for example, uh, many camera manufacturers uh, for uh, marketing strategy, they exalt, highlight the fact that uh, I, I have uh, uh, 100 uh, uh, focus point, but uh, to the end, uh, photography uh, was made uh, always uh, uh, with uh, um, manual focus uh, for a century and uh, I think that uh, to the end for uh, um, we can uh, add a lot of features a lot of technology but uh, uh, photography in the end is uh, to uh, work with light to work with uh, with the settings that are simple, uh, it is uh, aperture, uh, shutter speed uh, and uh, uh, ISO, uh, it, it's just that and for example uh, for my street photography uh, I am working uh, uh, most of the time uh, not using the autofocus, I am using the manual focus uh, uh, through the zone focusing uh, technique, no? uh, so I, I don't believe that uh, uh, to 
make the things uh, in a complicated way uh, it works. Uh, for example, uh, with the speech of the focus point uh, in, in a camera, uh, when I use uh, just one, because uh, when you learn to uh, uh, focus with uh, the, the button, uh, mm, you, you keep it uh, uh, in the middle, uh, so you stop the focus and you recompose, uh, it is the way to go, no? Uh, so I don't believe that uh, we need, uh, for example, this thing or the, or the many uh, focus points, uh, but uh, you know the marketing, uh, it works like that because uh, uh, right now uh, there is an audience of people not knowing um, how to achieve a, a good photo uh, in, in, in a simple way, but uh, they need uh, anything automatic uh, because uh, they come maybe from uh, smartphones, uh, they make uh, the photos without uh, thinking too much. And that is uh, the problem because uh, when, um, as, a, as a professional photographer, I have to offer something different, no? something uh, uh, real uh, with, with uh, a real uh, uh, thinking behind in order to offer something that is better, that is uh, more ambitious, that is uh, aiming to, to excellence. So, um, right now uh, about the second uh, reason so that is uh, aiming to the excellence uh, if you mm, are mm, aiming uh, to something that is uh, uh, mm, the best that you can uh, achieve uh, of course uh, if you are aiming to the excellence it's better to concentrate to focus to stay focused uh, in something uh, in just one thing so that is why uh, i am specializing in black and white uh, of course i have an experience uh, of uh, more uh, than 15 uh, 15 years uh, making photos and uh, mm, most of the time uh, when I uh, exhibited uh, my uh, work in galleries uh, was uh, in black and white. So uh, I, I, I am totally familiar with black and white. Uh, for many times uh, I proposed my work in black and white, my journalism uh, portfolio uh, also in uh, my official website is in black and white. Uh, so mm, uh, I made the, the first uh, personal exhibition in color with the, with the Americana project, but uh, uh, mm, I, mm, I made something that was not usual uh, to me, no? because uh, any time that I exhibited uh, uh, my work in art galleries around the, the world was in, uh, in black and white. I exhibited my erotic photography, my street photography, and it was in black and white. So uh, I have already uh, a black and white uh, mindset uh, as an artist. So I, I want to continue this, but uh, in, a, in a way that is uh, completely uh, 100% in, uh, in black and white.
uh, fourth, uh, fourth uh, reason is uh, uh, about uh, uh, the focus on emotions and the structure that seems uh, uh, two things are completely different but uh, in black and white uh, for example uh, we start with the structure uh, thing uh, what i mean for structure i mean the texture i mean uh, for example when i see uh, a wall i can uh, feel better the uh, the texture of the wall or or anything, uh, a tree, the material of the tree uh, is uh, very important uh, uh, to me in order to have uh, a more physical experience with uh, my photos. And I feel that black and white is uh, superior in this thing. I don't believe that black and white is superior to, to color. Uh, they are both uh, two uh, they are two different languages, uh, both with uh, pros and cons, uh, both with uh, a, um, a way that you can discover to, um, to process and to uh, offering uh, your uh, inner voice through uh, photography. So, uh, I am not saying that uh, black and white uh, is uh, better than color because it's not. It's just a different language and I want to speak just one language uh, uh, right now. I showed you that I am able to photograph in color but uh, the ones, the photos that I am uh, 100% uh, happy are in black and white. So I want to continue just in black and white. Talking about uh, street photography, this is another reason, talking about street photography, I am an old school street photographer, I consider myself an old school street photographer in the sense that I identify myself with the work uh, from Marie Cartier-Bresson to Gary Winogrand. Mm, uh, I learned the lessons of the masters and uh, I believe that uh, I, as an Italian uh, uh, guy, uh, I grow, I grown up uh, with the with the neorealism, uh, looking, uh, watching uh, cinema, and uh, the the French cinema too. Uh, so uh, this uh, perception and the this aesthetics is the one that I feel that is. Uh, mm, the one that I am proposing also as a street photographer. Uh, I am an old school street photographer also in the sense that uh, I am uh, focused on the things that uh, uh, André Kertes or Harry Cartier Presson were uh, focused at that time. No? Mm, humanity, emotions, gestures, uh, the things uh, that uh, are interesting to me. I am not in the visual game, I am not in the Alex Webb uh, full of Cheos uh, uh, things, so I believe that uh, uh, my photography uh, goes uh, towards uh, the lessons of the masters and I pursue uh, to be uh, uh, a, a street photographer still with that idea, no? the, the Mignon, uh, Mignon uh, from Padova uh, um, collective. Uh, I refer uh, uh, with my work to masters, uh, Italian masters, uh, Gianni Berengo Gardin, uh, Ferdinando Scianna, uh, Mario Giacomelli. Uh, so I believe that uh, uh, this thing I want to uh, 
keep it uh, as part of my uh, aesthetic proposal, visual proposal, you know? so I believe that uh, it's one of the reasons why black and white is uh, the language that I uh, prefer. Uh, talking about uh, fashion street style, um, you know that uh, most of the work is made uh, of course in color, but uh, I, I believe that uh, to uh, make a, a, a personal proposal, black and white is the way to go, to me and I explain why. Uh, taking uh, the references uh, as a photographer, as a portrait photographer, uh, Hugo Mulas uh, and uh, Avedon and uh, Helmut Newton are my references, uh, the most important uh, references. When it comes uh, to fashion uh, photography, also for clients. Of course, uh, uh, if a client arrives and they ask at me expressly a color work, uh, I can do it. But uh, if I want to, to make uh, a work uh, where uh, I am called to, to express my preferences are going to black and white. Mm, I think that uh, even in fashion photography there is a room for this. For example, a, a brand like uh, American Apparel uh, presented a lot of photos uh, in black and white. The same Burberry, I worked uh, on assignment uh, for Burberry a day and uh, um, Burberry presented uh, 10 years ago the project uh, 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 dedicated to the trench. Uh, the trench is uh, the, the most important uh, proposal uh, of, the, of the Burberry brand uh, and they proposed that uh, they asked uh, to magnum photographers uh, like Bruce Gilden to, to make uh, the photos for the art of the trench that was uh, counting with a special website and uh, I believe there is a room, uh, an important room of fashion photography uh, that can be realized in, uh, in black and white. Portraits focusing souls. Uh, when it comes to portrait photography, I don't believe that we are capturing souls. Mm, I believe that we are capturing the essence of an encounter between two person or more person, but between the photographer and the person's portrait. But at the same time, uh, portrait uh, is uh, uh, something that uh, needs of emotions, of uh, being there um, with the communication with the person, and I believe that uh, with black and white uh, I am focusing just on that, without an element of distractions. I explain a little bit more of that because, uh, mm, of course, uh, I make uh, a lot of uh, environmental uh, uh, portraits uh, by making a fashion street 
style but also erotica uh, I believe that uh, I uh, cut off from the image uh, a lot of uh, distractions uh, elements that sometimes uh, for example I can see that uh, there are many photographers uh, that I are uh, they are using uh, color but uh, they are not respecting the hierarchy of color they don't respect uh, you can see uh, something red uh, in a portrait that call you more the attention of the of the face and that is a problem in a portrait for example uh, if uh, a person has uh, a red uh, a red uh, dress that uh, red dress calls you uh, more the attention and respect to the face that is uh, the essence of a portrait so i cut off a lot of problems by using black and white of course that uh, uh, an experienced photographer uh, is able to do that in color but uh, you have to consider a lot of things and uh, main, most of the time so right now I can see that uh, uh, a lot of photographers are, are not respecting the hierarchy of colors there is a hierarchy of colors and they are not respecting because they are not seeing that uh, as important but is important uh, and I can see a lot of photos uh, that are not good uh, for this for this reason uh, so uh, with uh, uh, black and white uh, of course uh, it starts uh, the work uh, from the light and the shadows the the gesture uh, the management of uh, uh, the light is uh, more essential uh, than color maybe uh, when uh, photography is uh, always uh, you have to have uh, a regard in respect to the light but in black and white uh, is, uh, we need to be more uh, demanding on that also the viewer is more demanding on that on the light because uh, we are working just on the luminance no? uh, so uh, it is very important um, to me to consider that uh, in, uh, in portrait photography that is why I prefer also as a viewer to see uh, black and white portraits than colors Uh, I uh, said already in the previous uh, uh, reason starting with the light by starting with the light of course uh, is fundamental uh, to me uh, working in, uh, in black and white uh, because uh, uh, if I start uh, with light it is the reason why I am photographing and uh, uh, black and white uh, is the response in my opinion in order to uh, get uh, stay focus just on that uh, starting with the light and the light makes uh, the magic uh, through the management uh, of light uh, the good management of light I am already proposing my work so uh, starting with light is the reason also because uh, uh, black and white is uh, 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 another reason why I chosen uh, this, uh, this language in respect to colors for my photography.
Another reason is the artistic control. Uh, I already say that uh, practically uh, with the stylistic coherence. Uh, the artistic control of anything. Um, if I focus just on a language, I can be uh, more sure that I have my artistic control and the consistency uh, of my work. So I, I believe that uh, the artistic control is fundamental in order to propose uh, your, your personal voice in respect to, to the others, but uh, not talking just about uh, portrait photography, uh, even for, uh, for street photography. Right now, street photography, the most is made in black and in color. Uh, and uh, the, the one most celebrated is the street photography in color. Uh, you, you can see in festivals, in street photography festivals, in awards, uh, always is color, uh, many Alex Webb copycats. And um, uh, I believe that in this era that I consider uh, vulgar, in uh, many aspects, uh, black and white uh, is uh, is more elegant. Is more elegant. Is one. Uh, is another reason. Uh, is more elegant in respect to to color. Uh, and uh, I can achieve uh, something that is uh, more focus uh, directly on uh, emotions and expressions. That is why I am an old. Uh, I consider myself an old school street photographer. And uh, I am getting away, I am getting distant, I am taking the distance uh, respect to the street photography that I don't love. Uh, taking the distance from all these uh, color uh, Instagrammers uh, calling themselves uh, uh, street photographers, uh, making visual jokes, uh, I stay out from that. I embracing uh, uh, the street photography that I love, the street photography made uh, by photographers, uh, also current uh, street photographers uh, that I are focus on minimalistic shots, for example, or focus on emotions, or focus on compositions. I embrace uh, that kind of street photography uh, and I am getting away from uh, this uh, vulgar uh, street photography made uh, with uh, visual jokes that uh, uh, to me is completely uh, unuseful and uh, I am not uh, interested uh, to see that kind of photography. Uh, also as a photo editor I don't love that kind of photography and, and I am taking distance from that kind uh, of photography. So um, also when I uh, realized my street photography work uh, with flash, uh, I used black and white. So it, it, it is something that many don't, uh, uh, don't uh, consider because uh, many uh, consider uh, the use of flash, especially on the street uh, with, uh, with color, but uh, uh, I made the opposite uh, using the black and white. Uh, and uh, uh, this choice made with uh, the reality remade project, for example, uh, creating ghosts uh, uh, on the street by using uh, a slow shutter speed and the intentional camera movement and the flash. Mm, I believe that uh, black and white uh, puts uh, myself in another, in another uh, section, in another part uh, in the street photography that I learned to love, from Curtis to Harry Cartier-Bresson to Gary Winogrand uh, to Lee Friedlander. That is uh, the street photography that I love and that is uh, the street photography that I want to propose. So it, it is not just a speech of my art commercial work, it is also about uh, my street photographer uh, choice.
experience straight to the point because uh, uh, when I am using uh, just black and white for example um, I am just thinking in this uh, with my cameras that are DSLR uh, okay with the viewfinder looking uh, through the viewfinder of a DSLR I don't see uh, directly uh, the result uh, in black and white I see in color but exactly as you uh, are using a film camera uh, through an optical viewfinder but when I see in the LCD the, uh, the photo is in black and white because it doesn't matter if I will use uh, RAW and uh, black and white uh, JPEG uh, or just the black and white of uh, the JPEG without using the RAW I see the photo in black and white the result in black and white also a model that I show the photo will be in black and white in order to to see how the photo is without elements or distractions in order to, to make a better composition uh, so the, the experience is straight to the point I, I will not think then to convert in black and white because it's already in my head in black and white in my head and also by using a JPEG straight or, or out of the camera uh, so uh, the experience straight to the point uh, um, right now I am already thinking just in black and white 100% in black and white completely for me uh, right now photography is just black and white when I think to photography is black and white and that is the, the reason why it is a word a different word respect to uh, to uh, to the real world no last reason uh, that is simple uh, weather conditions uh, here in mexico uh, in mexico city in particular uh, uh, the weather is very variable uh, during the day and this affects uh, of course uh, the images uh, that uh, I can produce by using black and white I am not uh, anymore uh, worried uh, about uh, certain weather conditions uh, uh, of course uh, the light is important uh, but uh, for example in black and white there are photographers that love uh, a, a, a soft light other uh, prefer a, a hard light uh, but I believe that uh, uh, by using black and white uh, I am not uh, anymore uh, worried because uh, with color uh, many times uh, you need uh, a good light no? uh, you are more demanding with light uh, because uh, colors change uh, in, in, in a way that uh, sometimes you obtain uh, ugly colors and uh, with black and white uh, this thing uh, is not going to happen so uh, it is uh, the last reason uh, why uh, I am uh, uh, going towards uh, only black and white uh, in my photography And uh, in conclusion of this, uh, of this video, thank you to stay here. Um, I am not pretending you do the same. I am just sharing with you my reasons why I am now just a black and white photographer. I would like to know uh, your thoughts about that. I would like uh, to know your experience 
put on the comments and uh, I am always happy to read uh, other uh, experiences uh, from uh, other uh, photographers or simply from the ones uh, just starting uh, with photography and uh, thank you to be here today uh, thanks uh, to, to be a subscriber uh, thanks to give like uh, to this video uh, I am going to propose uh, other content uh, other uh, inspiring content for you for uh, your pet with photography uh, feel you free to contact me feel you free to propose uh, content that you would like uh, to uh, see to watch uh, in uh, the street photography channel and uh, mm, check out uh, my official website alexkoge.com where you can find a lot of resources uh, for uh, for photographers uh, there is also a shop where uh, I am uh, uh, selling uh, my books uh, my magazines uh, my uh, prints uh, my services uh, my workshops so uh, thank you guys we see you soon on the street photography channel bye